good tool with a uh, good tool guys have the good communication skills and uh, they have a little bit sense of humor. Uh, think about when a new crew of strangers show up, you need to know how to make them feel comfortable to talk to each other and their guide. Do you know why we should do this? Uh, break the ice? I mean, you break the ice that you can talk to each other well. Uh, this ensures later on the tour that we feel comfortable, feel free to ask questions at any time. Ask you questions about the city, about the people, about the food. They have to feel comfortable to ask you questions. And now I would like to talk about solving problem skills. Just like any job, any job, problems tend to arise. But as a tour guide, you need to know how to deal with anything that comes into your way quickly. Uh, in a tourist, problems could range from the bike breaking down and you live in the crew, shredded to one of the passengers getting ill and needing to get rushed to the hospital. Problems can also be small ones, like they, one of the passengers, they complain that they're too hot. So you need to know how to deal with it. Mm, for example, once I came to the hotel to pick my tourists up, right after she saw my bike, she became really nervous and scared. She was sweating in reserve. What would you do in this situation? Any idea? Okay. <laughs> At that time, I soothe her and calm her down by telling my driving skills with some jokes like, Oh, don't worry. I promise to keep you still alive after this tour. You know, because I was born and grew up in this traffic, so I'm an expert on the street. And trust me, it would be so much fun. And then I tell her to sit on the bike. Uh, swing your legs, put your feet here, here, and hold them like this. <laughs> And she, she become more relaxed a little bit, but just a little bit. But, and then she still nervous. I, I told her to hold me a little bit closer. Uh, then, you know, after 10 minutes on my bike, she become more relaxed and we have a great tour together that night. So you have to know how to deal with problem. Because if she's scared about your bike and you just look at her and, okay, sit on my bike. See, I'm sure that she never sit on your bike. So you have to know how to deal with it. <laughs> and next, psychology. Uh, skill psychology also means you have to know your tourists well. You have to know the audience you are talking to. And let's recall the list of the most common tourists that Chen has mentioned before, about the young pet packer, old tourists, expats, educational. Yeah, different groups of tourists have different characteristics and they have a different interest. So depending on their differences, you have different ways to talk to them and different topics to discuss. So uh, you better make a research by different groups of tourists by, them, by, you, by yourself to make you know them better. Yeah, just make them themselves because if Chang mentioned it for you, you just remember but you don't know exactly the characteristics of them. You don't know them well so you don't have the good way to communicate with them. Uh, next. Uh, the last skill is dynamic tour. Uh, making a dynamic tour, a dynamic tour must have the variety, activity, and must have the excitement throughout. It could range from the games or activities that is using sense activities beside each other. Because most of the tour they just let the tour see. Um, for in my tour, I usually let the tourists see the vegetables, the fruits, and even show them how to make the food. For example, how to make the pancake. You know the pancake? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, now make the pancake, uh, cream paella salad, and rice cake. Let's show them. Uh, it could make the tour more exciting. And most of the tourists, our tourists, they feel that it's more interesting because they could experience what the Vietnamese usually do on a typical day. Beside history, biology, lecture. Okay, let's summarize the skill. I I mean just at least for these skills, not just for these skills. Okay, communication skill, solving problem skill, and psychology. You must know who are your tourists, know your audience well, and making your tour dynamic, make your tour different from each tour, other tour. Okay, and now I would like to talk about some behavior. In the behavior part, we have three different things. First of all, making a good impression. Good impression. 
Secondly, you have to be friendly. And the last one, you have to be sensitive to the needs of our guests. Okay, now I would like to talk about the first point, making a good impression. 